Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Status and you're watching Sim Status. <laughs> Harvest Fest was really good, honestly. I think it's actually insane that we have no children in this house. I think it's insane. We have no more kids under the age of toddler. I was gonna say Sierra's kind of like an empty nester, but she's really not. Her kids are just literally at school. But this gives her more time to, you know, be over here with the garden. It gives her more time to, you know, do more freelance work and not worry about babies. And then Marco, I thought he had work today, but I guess he doesn't. Okay, yeah, so he's off today. So he has all of his stuff complete. So he's honestly just chilling. I know our yard is a little like funny. The grill's like randomly right there. Then when the garden is like all the way over here, I know it's a little off. We're, we're gonna get it together. We're gonna get it together. But slowly but surely. Oh, can we make upgrades maybe to the tree house for the kids? Oh, yes. Let's put a slide. I think a slide would be really cool. Yeah, she's gonna work in her garden, but then I think I also want her to do some freelance work just so we can get some extra cash. Okay, yeah, she has she has no gigs right now. Okay, let's select a gig. We want the one the most high paying. Ooh, this one is high, but we need a writing level of, oh, we need writing level 10 to do that one. Okay, but they pay big oh the kids are home i completely forgot she had exams today okay let's see let's see exam results mia's results below average maybe mia should have prepared herself a bit more before exam day and then sophia's back from school friday nights are great for turning b's into a she could focus on that perhaps and then dominic is not the first c student at land grab elementary and he surely won't be the last when the week okay the best void critter i got in a fight with someone at school about which void critter is more powerful i said it was the Arcticorn, but he kept saying Seuss. I don't know. I can't. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, we're gonna say um, the Arcticorn is the best. The Arcticorn, of course. Hello. She's gonna go to drama club. I honestly, she's not really in it. I kind of want her to like get out of drama club, but she needs that for her aspirations. She needed to join an after school activity, but it doesn't count it, which is really confusing. I think I'm going to have. Oh, okay. Well, there she goes. She looks great. Why? I don't know why it doesn't count it. We might, we might quit, quit that whenever she gets back. So let's have the kids do their homework. She's gonna breeze through her homework. I forgot she's a little perfectionist. Um, sir, I had you do your homework, not watch TV. And then let's check on everyone's aspirations. Actually, I feel like that's something that I kind of lose sight track with oh have 20,000 oh so we shouldn't spend money we need to like kind of keep it in our inventory okay have a child earn an a let's see ride bike for four hours and play pretend in treehouse and then achieve level three activity maybe he can go in his sister's um room and he can play with the activity table we're about to be in winter so i'm gonna have him do winter stuff <laughs> babe he needs to do his homework are you helping or maybe she can start on this so let's do um write book i think it was science fiction that we need to write Oh, and guys, look, 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 I completely forgot. I was looking at this calendar and I was like, oh, when's the next birthday? It shows Dominic. Oh, and Mia, that's kind of cool. But then I was like, no, somebody else needs to age up before that. Who is it? Sophia. And then I was looking, I was like, um, she ages up on Saturday. This is literally her last day as a child. Tomorrow is her birthday. I don't even know what we're gonna do. I feel like uh, that's why I'm like, I want her to learn how to ride her bike. Maybe today, as soon as Marco is done with this treehouse, we're going to learn how to ride our bike. She's literally about to be a teenager. And I, I felt it too. I was like, I feel like somebody's birthday is coming up. So they're gonna both be teens at the same time for like a week. Wait, can we graduate? What if we graduate early? Can we graduate early in The Sims? Mia is back from drama club. Oh, she is not feeling it. I want her to quit this drama club because we're not really with it. It, to be honest we really aren't fine after school activity i guess we'll just try to find a new one then i'm really excited actually to see what it looks like with the slide added oh okay select a career for mia oh wait now that i'm looking at it i thought if we were a part of the drama club that was an after school activity okay so screw this we're not we're not gonna be in the drama club anymore so let's see there's this cheer team the chess team computer team football and a scout okay let's come okay let me look at her traits real quick make a decision off of that so she's goal oriented and she's loud that's a childhood phase relatable she's outgoing overachiever high self-esteem i don't know that's kind of giving me cheerleader vibes should we be a cheerleader or is it or is it like too late because she's already been a team for like a week or so let's just do it why not she's an overachiever so why not put herself to the test of being you know a cheerleader maybe not miss popular like we're not going with that but like she's a good host she has high self-esteem i feel like her traits are very good for a cheerleader so we're gonna go with a cheer team member Oh my goodness look at her in her little outfit that's so cute okay well i know she's not in the mood but we are gonna do our homework let's get maybe a cheer mat mia is now a cheerleading fresh recruit at high school cheer team she starts monday at 3 30 p.m so maybe she can kind of like get her fitness skill up and maybe we can get a little cheer mat so she could practice before you know her first little day um i don't think there's enough room like in i was gonna try to put it in her room to practice but i didn't want to change like the flooring of her room we could just put this like in the front or somewhere back here in the backyard i think right here is fine 
line, like right in front of the swing. It's a little cold to be practicing outside, so we might we might have to, because I think next week is actually the first week of winter, so we'll see. Oh, yay! Sophia's responsibility is in the range to earn the responsibility responsible trait. She's writing. Can you stop distracting her? <laughs> I'm actually gonna have her chat to Guillermo, because she hasn't talked to him in a minute. Oh, video call? That's so cute. We'll do we'll video call Guillermo, too. So I think I'm gonna just get everybody kind of ready to go to bed, and then we will see how everybody is doing tomorrow. I'm such a goofball. It's literally Sophia's birthday. I don't know what she do, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. You know what? Maybe he can make breakfast, actually. Or he's so hungry. Serve breakfast. We'll do... We'll do French toast. Why not? If Sierra wakes up before the kids, she can make everybody lunches. Because I know that's something that we don't really do a lot, but I know it's an option. What is it? Oh, neighborhood brawl. I'm so dead. <laughs> have everybody come grab a serving of breakfast. I love that they have like a proper dining table. Oh, we'll have deep conversation. We'll talk to the family. Oh, I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. She's super tense. Let's vent. Share neighborhood brawl excitement. Oh my lord. Oh, look at this. A family breakfast. I love this. Okay. <laughs> I, okay, this is the only thing I don't like. I think I've seen like there's like a mod where like they won't move chairs. So today is Sophia's last day as a child. I think we're gonna just spend the day focused on her. So let's see what her aspiration is. Playtime captain, ride her bike for four hours. So as soon as she's done eating breakfast, we are going to teach her how to ride her bike. And then I'll just have everybody else kind of take care of themselves. I'm not really pressed to like keep track of everybody. I want her actually to finish her project. Teach Sophia how to ride her bike. Let's get with the program. What I told everybody to do. <laughs> oh, and the inside. Okay. Okay, it begins. Nothing beats the feeling. Does he like video games? Yes. Okay, so I guess we're gonna do this inside. This isn't actually what I thought or what I had in mind. Let's put the bike out here and maybe we'll be a little bit more successful. Okay, yeah, everybody's kind of chilling. Oh, there she is. I was like, where did she go? Ooh, she can actually practice cheerleading on her mat. No, why is she not doing this? I mean, she can, I guess she can do it by herself if she really wants to, but I don't want that for her. Oh, 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 my bad, my bad. You just hadn't used the bathroom yet. My bad. I'm so sorry. Oh, look at the flowers. Oh, we gotta, we gotta tend to all this. Blorb, <laughs> Bless her. Oh, oh, okay. And then why is he stressed? Low quality furniture. Excuse me, this furniture is really nice. What are you talking about? What is, he, what is he doing? Oh, he's at work. Oh, he's literally at work. No wonder your dad couldn't help you. Oh, actually, he can work on his aspiration too. Oh, she has motor level 10. Is this counting towards riding her bike for hours? No, because I was gonna say, maybe we can throw her a party, but she doesn't really know a lot of other kids her age, or if she does, they aged up. <gasps> Aspiration completed, no. Sophia just achieved her childhood dream of being the coolest kid on the playground. No way. <gasps> let's see, let's see. No way, oh, I love this. Pack animal. <gasps> These Sims love improving themselves and others together. They have faster relationship and skill gain when training with friends. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I'm so happy. That's my goal. I want them to always complete their aspirations, especially when they're kids and we're still experimenting with this pack. I guess they're not new anymore. This pack has been out for a while, but okay, yeah. Now I'm like, now I feel way better about aging her up. <laughs> oh, look at them. You guys, look at them. Oh my gosh. Look at his little gap. I love his little gap too. I think her and her brother are gonna be really, really close. Yeah, I don't know what we should do for her birthday. I have, I really don't know. I don't know, like, should we go to, I mean, we always go to the rec center. We don't need to have it at the rec center. Maybe we can just have a little at-home celebration. I'm gonna have her practice again because I really want her to excel like in her little club. She's an overachiever and I, I feel like we've been slacking. I feel like we've been slacking a lot with Mia and her school and her being an overachiever, so. Oh, look at them. Oh my lord. Maybe we can actually hit up Guillermo, Orion, and Lucas. The whole gang can come. These four were actually the original crew, so we'll like invite them over. Oh, don't talk to your mom, please. She's she's very busy. Stargaze. Oh, that's so cute. Do we need a telescope for that? Uh, observatory. Oh, let's get a let's get a telescope for that. And we'll get like a little blue one. Oh, we could put it on the tree house. Yes, absolutely. I know it's like pretty early in the day. Okay, yeah, he can't he can't stargaze because it's still bright outside. Did he put the cake in the fridge? I hope I kinda hope he did. Marco, you're gonna get a lot of props if you if you did put it in the fridge. <gasps> no, you Are you done with editing your rejected content? 
bestseller. That's all the client kept repeating. Yay! All her friends are coming. I'm gonna have her change her outfit. Guillermo's here. There's Tala. Her outfit. Lord have mercy. Maybe not. Oh, look at him. Oh, Bellino. Aww, she missed it. This is the first time that they've seen each other ever since she's been back from her vacations. Oh my god, is Tala flirty too? Were y'all- Ex Excuse me? Why were y'all both flirty when y'all first got here? Interesting. Interesting. Is there something going on here? Should we fight? Because it's neighborhood brawl. Oh, witness to a bully. Some kids at school were being mean to one of my friends. I wanted to help, but I didn't know what to do. What do you think I should have done? Step in and stand up for your friend. Stay out of it and console your friend afterwards. No! Step in and stand up for your friend. If that's your friend. Okay, here she goes. Oh my goodness. Here she goes, guys. It's her birthday. Nobody's paying attention, but it's fine. <laughs> Oh gosh, she's about to be a teen and I don't know how to feel. Oh gosh, I don't know how to feel. Yay, happy birthday. Sophia has earned a bonus trait. See all of her bonus traits in the small panel. Yay, teenage dumb, romantic travail, sweaty gym shorts, and hormonal upheavals await. Best buckle those boots, the ride starts here. So she's a perfectionist and we're going to randomize her trait and then based off of her trait, we're gonna see which one fits her best as her aspiration. Three, two, one. Mia is an overachiever, so we this happened before. I think this literally happened before when Sophia was a baby and she aged up. She had the exact same trait as Mia, so we did it again because we want it to be, you know, a little bit more diverse. So three, two, one. Self-assured. Ooh, I really like that. I really, really like that. I love that. Okay, and so then we're gonna choose a teen aspiration. There's the goal-oriented, that's Mia. Then we have the admired icon, the live fast and the drama llama hmm perfectionist and self-assured live fast and aims to get the most out of life by living carefree and rules free i don't want to necessarily wear rules free her being a perfectionist is like making me not want to do that one this sim wants to be an admired icon this sim wants to be a trendsetter popular and influential a true icon she's a perfectionist and she's self-assured i think that's the one she wants all the drama all the time no i think this is the one admire icon this is it oh my gosh look at oh hello so Look at her! She's so... Wow! Oh, she's so pretty. She's gorgeous. She looks just like her sister. Look at her. She's actually so gorgeous. Her eyebrows are very interesting. Like, they're not bad. They're very distinct. <laughs> but no, she looks so good. All right, so I have finally finished the final looks for Sophia. So this is her everyday wear. This is her formal wear. This is her athletic wear. This is her sleep wear. This is her party wear. This is her swim wear. This is her hot weather wear. And this is her cold weather wear. This definitely explores just a different type of vibe for her. It's not really purple because, you know, I joke that she's like the purple sister. We still have some purple that's kind of coordinated with her outfits just a little bit. She's a trendsetter. She's, she wants to be an admired icon. So a lot of her outfits are very, you know, flashy, very... Uh -huh put together, very yes ma'am, cool, just very stylish. So yeah, so this is the final look for Sophia. Okay, a balanced meal. Someone said eating dirt was okay, but someone else said eating dirt will make you die. Is it okay to eat dirt? Eating dirt is really unhealthy, and if you do, kids may tease you. I mean, it's very unhealthy. So. Oh, look at her. Look at them. Oh my gosh. I can't believe they're both teens. So now I'm gonna go up to Sophia's room and make some changes because this is more little girl and we need more teenager. Guys, look at her room. This is so cute. She has her closet. She can try her little clothes. It's time for prom. Get dressed up and rock the dance floor with other high school students. We're going to skip the prom. It's your first day being a teen, girl. <laughs> so we're going to skip the prom and we're going to go next time. And Mia has already gone. So skip prom. Sierra, I'm going to have her clean up a little bit. Oh, uh -huh. Tola needs to go home. Girl, you gotta go. Everybody's, everybody's gone. And she's like, hey, okay, sweetie, you gotta go. <laughs> Sierra, she's like, you gotta go, sorry. <laughs> Not Mr. Vlad. Not Mr. Vlad at our door, hello. Oh, look at her room, it's so cute. It's so purple, oh my god. Ooh, oh no, I'm hideous. My face is a mess. I can't go anywhere looking like this. What can I do? It's fine to overreact, try some light makeup, just stay out of sight, oh my gosh. <laughs> I wouldn't say this, to, I wouldn't say any of these to my child. I wouldn't tell them to not overreact. I wouldn't tell them to use makeup to cover it. And I wouldn't tell them to stay out of sight. But I guess I'm gonna do, it's fine, don't overreact. No, because that lowers the emotional control. I'm gonna do this, try some light makeup. That is, that's horrible advice. But that's, it's, that's all I can think of to do. No, you are not going to go on that cheer mat. Marco, absolutely not. You're gonna, oh, I forgot. 
I need to get rid of this. <laughs> Whoopsies. This is when I was debating on keeping it or not, but no, we can get rid of it. It's cute though, and I love that it has matching um little side tables. Okay, the girl's about to go to school. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Oh wait, no, I'm tripping. It's Sunday. Why did I think they had to go to school today? Oh my goodness, I'm such a goofball. But you know what we can do though? Now that me and Sophia are both teens, they can like go out together. What does she need to do? She needs to post on Social Bunny, make 10. Yeah, today I think that's what they're gonna do. So if they're both ready, honestly, why not? We're gonna go right now. Look at them! Fun fact, obviously when the game packs come out, I play with them, but I don't play with them full out. So like, I've never really just kind of gotten a vibe of what this little area looks like. So this is the library, I think. Oh, this is super, like I didn't even, I've never actually looked at this little park area. It's like a little town, they're literally downtown. It's super early in the morning, so I'm very much aware that it's kind of like random and a little ridiculous to be here <laughs> right now. I just wanted to like come and hang out. It's actually really vibey in here. Oh, look at her, she's looking through her clothes. I'm gonna have her order, ooh. I love mango milk bubble tea, or boba. Why are they, why are they beefing? Why is he angry? They need to talk, they're like arguing. What's happening? That's weird. We go on vacation, we come back and now you're like, being weird with us? Mm, okay. Oh. oh my gosh, what is happening? What is going on with them? Okay, yeah, here's the here's the issue. So let's make this a teen neighborhood so more teens will come. Oh, wait, what? Clothing optional, no, no, <laughs> no. Sophia's just kind of like third wheeling like really bad. Oh, now that we've like met more people, I guess we can add some people on Social Bunny. The Sim is irresistible. Sophia has a major crush on Jenna. What? Oh, no way. No way, she has a crush on Jenna. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's, um, we need to get to know her more. Who, who is this girl? Oh, let's open her profile. She's a snob, okay. She has a crush on Jenna. I cannot believe this. We need to give Jenna a makeover if she's gonna be our crush. I'm not even gonna lie to you. <laughs> That was kind of fast. I feel like Mia was a teen for a while before we had a crush, and it was Guillermo. Conversation. Oh, she has a good reputation. That's good. Oh, ask if you. No, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back. No. Come back, Jenna, please. If this is going to be our crush, we need her to look fierce, okay? Okay, let's see what her, her traits are. So she's goal oriented, okay? She's hot headed and a snob. Ooh. We won't do too much. Nothing too crazy. And just to confirm, oh, she doesn't have any like pronouns. I don't really want to change her hair at all. Cause her, isn't her mom like mixed or something? Yeah, her mom has like kind of that, that same type of hair texture. Oh, I love the blue. I love the blue. <laughs> this is cute. This is kind of cute actually. Oh, this is way cuter. <laughs> and then her sleepwear. Oh, I actually kind of love her sweet sleepwear. There we go. We can do it like that. And then we can have, we'll just make these black. This is cute. Nothing too crazy. All right. And then her swimwear. That's kind of fitting. Okay. Yeah, no, I actually kind of like what she's already wearing. But let's make it a little bit better. <laughs> we can do this one. Then we can just change her shoes. Just the color. There we go. She has a cute little nose piercing. Cool. Okay, this is the updated look for Jenna. Oh, everybody's leaving. Oh, she's hot-headed. Oh, her traits are kind of wonky. She's hot-headed and a snob. Well, first we have to see if she even has a crush on us before we keep making all these big moves. I think we're gonna go home and we're going to join the fam and enjoy the rest of our day at home. We came out, we socialized with people, and that was our main task, so. Okay, so really quickly, I wanted to redo this because I did this when my game was lagging really bad, but I wanted to take advantage of the warm weather that we have and go on a family walk. Oh, Sierra is the only one that really wants to be here. And then Dominic, he's like going on for the ride. Marco's like supporting and Sophia's just supporting. <laughs> there we go. Sierra is so happy <laughs> to be here. <laughs> Look at Mia. <laughs> is she getting better? That's all I really want to know. I feel like her and her dad have a pretty decent relationship. Oh yeah, they're really compatible. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love that she's doing her extra homework or extra credit, right? Look at him getting his like mental skill up. Let's check on his aspiration. And then can we stargaze now? Only available at night? Is it not night? 
Okay, so while everybody's heading off to sleep, I'm gonna go ahead and end this part right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This part was really fun. Sophia aged up, and she also has a new crush on Jenna. And so I'm really excited to see how that flourishes, if Jenna even reciprocates, because we may have to find somebody else. We may, she may not be the one. She may be the one that got away. But uh, we'll kind of try to explore that. Mia, so she she needed to join an after school activity, but it didn't, drama club didn't count. So she's now a cheerleader. But Mia has one last week being a teacher. So we're gonna try to get her aspirations together. We weren't really paying attention to her aspirations at all Like we were kind of just focused on like Guillermo and like going on dates and then we went on the family vacations And same thing for Dominic too. Him and Mia actually are gonna age up on the same day So he has his last full week of being a child So let me know what you guys think about the new house upgrades Let me know what you guys think about Mia being a cheerleader and Sophia having a crush on Jenna Please like comment share and subscribe and I will talk to you guys later. Bye